So if you've ever wanted to be a psychic, of course you're going to want to check out our next guest. Chris Medina is in the house. He's a psychic medium. And he's here to share his gifts with us. How's everybody doing? Good. How are you? Oh, We're so great. super excited. We want to also just first tell people, what is the difference between a psychic and a psychic medium? Psychic to me, this is how I explain it, it's all about being able to predict the past, present, and future, be able to look at somebody and immediately get, I call them, hits off of them. Mm -hmm. And then the medium side is the ability to speak to the other side, cool. like ghosts, spirits, yeah. entities, ah. that sort of thing. Yeah. Thank you. You so. have an incredible podcast, too, and I, I love the tagline that it's just no love and light gimmicks. Right. Uh -huh. Because there's a lot of that going around. There's a lot of it, a lot of it. Um, I always tell people that the difference between me and other psychics is that I always go in and tell you what is going on with you right now. What's holding you back? What's keeping the soul from evolving and growing and keeping you stuck in the same rut that you're in right now? Rather than go do what most psychics do, which, which is predict the future and get so far ahead or predict the past and go so far back, there's no real way to validate that. Isn't that something? more like intuitive versus psychic? Where you're talking more about what you need to do to align with what's going on? Well, I like to incorporate the intuition with uh, what I see coming in the future for that person. Mm -hmm. So again, working on what's holding you back right now, because everybody, again, to have, to get a psychic reading and have somebody tell you, oh wow, like in two years, you're going to win the lottery, you're gonna get in this big romance. Well, we have to sit here and wait. I wanna talk about what we're doing in the meantime before we get that prize. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. When did you first discover this gift? Um, ever since, I've had it ever since I was born. Really? Yeah. And so, so how does it show up for you? What is it like? What's the experience like? A lot of people ask, like, do you know, people, psychics say, oh, my guides tell me. I only started using the word guides when I started coming out in public with this. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a thought that comes in or a picture, like a Polaroid snapshot of what's coming. Wow. Yeah. Okay, well, we want some readings. Okay. <laughs> Start with Aaron. Right. We've had lots of readings on. It's been really interesting how similar mm -hmm. the readings for the three of us have been on the show. Right? Yes. Fascinating. Okay, so who wants to go first? Erin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she always wants to go Aaron? first. No, no, she's okay. there. Right. Um, I would say for you right now, the biggest thing is making sure that you're taking a step back and really, I know that you're a doctor, right? Doctor Divinity. Okay, mm -hmm. um, taking a step back and going within and allowing yourself the opportunity to kind of check in with yourself and let go of not really old ways of thinking, but stress. Does that make sense? Yeah like kind of like heavy thinking or overthinking situations and taking a step back and just going within and clearing the energy and or space. Yeah, I feel like it's always the answer. Right. <laughs> Go with yeah. the source and yeah. it answers everything for sure. Yeah, because yeah. there's a lot, you, you tend to um, analyze and keep things in and hold things to you. And again, I'm not saying that, well, everybody does that, but find a way to let it go and not let it infiltrate too much. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm. Powerful. Oh, me. <laughs> sure. Good news only. You, with you, I, I immediately got hits off you when I first walked in. I didn't see you till afterward, or in you as well, too. But with you, it's all about taking a step back and seeing where you're at when it comes to your career. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of push to go obviously above and beyond to get bigger and better here. But I don't think that you're taking a step back and realizing where you're at right now. Does that make sense? Sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So again, I just, uh, with you, it's not only speaking the confidence out loud, but projecting it inward as well. Mm. Yeah. Powerful. You can get a producer, Andy Waldman. You, want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you can do me, it's okay. Yeah. He doesn't want to be. Um, <laughs> with you, again, it, it, it's all career-based here with everybody. Everyone's, everyone's trying to figure out how do we get to that next level. I think with you, I do see, um, I'm not saying the opportunity is not gonna come in for all three of you, but with you, I feel like there's two good opportunities coming in before August leaves. Mm, I love that. Yeah. I'm gonna keep my so phone you working on, on something yeah. new. Yeah, I'm gonna put that back on vibrate or something like that. Because yeah. I can't leave it on silent. I might miss something. Yeah. So it's it's, it's very career based. And again, with you, uh, it, there's you just with you specifically. It's I can hear your thoughts. It's a lot of heavy thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's profound. So when you were having this experience first as a child, and you know, ever since you remember, you've had this gift. Obviously, mm -hmm. was it hard to embrace it and then share it, or did you always feel really comfortable? with the gift itself and with sharing it with others? I never would have thought to call myself a psychic medium growing up. Mm. Everyone was like, go to Chris, Chris gives great advice. Uh, he's, he's a good shoulder to lean on, but to call me a psychic, to the, to, still to this day, it still feels foreign. Uh. But I've always had the ability, to, always the ability to go within and see people for who they are. Yeah. yeah. Has it ever scared you? The medium side scared the me. The medium growing side. Growing up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I was about Jet's age. 
yeah. how, I don't know how old he is, but yeah. yeah, when I first came into it and it was a lot of feeling, a lot of picking up energies around me. We moved from an apartment into a brand new house and that house had weird energy in it. Mm. So picking up on ghosts, and I used to watch a lot of scary movies. So my mom would be like, is it scary movies that are doing that to you? Or is it, or, or you know, or, or are you imagining it? Mm. And I'm like, I can feel it. I, I said, I don't know how else to explain it. My hackles go up, the hair on the back of my neck stands up. I could feel something in here. Uh, it's a totally wow. different energy. It's a totally different energy. Uh -huh. really so I'm really wondering for, you know, myself and the viewers at home, a lot of the psychics have said, we all have a level of this ability. Mm -hmm. We're all born with an intuition, a gut feeling. What advice would you give for us to really kind of hone in on that within ourselves? Mm. Don't hold yourself back. When it comes to dealing with intuition, the intuition always comes forward and always wants us to get rid of what is holding us back. And that's what stops most people, is they take it in and they realize that moving forward would cause me to have to deal with what I've been holding back and not wanting to let go of. So the first thing again, get rid of a bad relationship, uh, move, you know, change jobs. We all anything that makes us feel uncomfortable, we shy away from. Mm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally makes sense. Absolutely. What would you say? You know, I think a lot of people um, maybe they feel they have a gifting in some way or the other. I think we all have, you know, signature sort of mm -hmm. unique gifts. You know, what's worked for you in terms of taking this sort of divine set of skills and gifts that you have and sharing them with the world and turning it into, you know, a business where you can actually live and survive off of the gifts that you have. My approach when it comes to the psychic stuff is always you do your own work. I can predict your past, present, and future, but I can't bring you in to your future kicking and screaming. Mm. So it's always making sure that that person is always in control of their path and their destiny. A psychic can come in, again, pro provide that insight, but it's up to you to walk, mm. for you to put the work in, for you to take the time to invest into yourself. Wow. So please tell everyone where they can find and follow you and work with you. Uh, feel free to visit my website, chrismedina.guide. Uh, social media at Psychic Chris M, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Fantastic. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Oh, and the podcast, In Your Head Podcast. Oh, in, <laughs> your your head. Head podcast. in Your Head, in your head Podcast. podcast. Yeah. We'll be back with more of the morning model. And